Well, it is a disaster recovery center set up by FEMA. A small army of volunteers got here around 7 o'clock this morning. They'll be here until 7 tonight, accepting your applications for disaster relief from FEMA. Now, a little bit of irony here. These centers are set up to help storm victims, but two of the centers kind of became storm victims yesterday when the power went out. As you mentioned, though, the power is back onto those two centers in the western part of town. So all seven disaster recovery centers are open this morning. We're familiar with the details by now. It all started back on April 26th when severe flooding started in a large part of our area. That was awful, but then it was round after round of severe weather punctuated by tornadoes and then the derecho, fierce straight line winds that hit on May 16th. It all left thousands of families across our area with damaged homes and not to mention all the belongings inside and around them. Recovering from those storms is what the seven disaster recovery centers that FEMA opened in our area are all about. There are four in Houston and three in the suburbs. You get to meet face to face with experts on all the assistance that's available to you. They help you fill out that application and then FEMA will look it over and determine what kind of help you qualify for. All FEMA asks is a little help from you. Just coming in and making sure that you have your documentation um, and making sure that you're asking all of your questions. I like to say, help us help you. Make sure that we have everything that we need to process your application as soon as possible so you can get that assistance as soon as possible. Little Jerry Maguire going on there. Help me help you. The documentation they're looking for includes insurance forms. Yes, even if your home is insured, you may still qualify for help from FEMA. Now you can find the disaster recovery center nearest to your home and what hours it's open on FEMA's website, disasterassistance.gov. If you don't think you need to meet face to face with a FEMA representative, you can also put in your application for assistance on that website and you can call it in as well by dialing the number on your screen. Don't worry about taking all of this down right now. I put all this information, including a link to the FEMA website on our website that's CW39.com. But you want to act fast. The deadline is approaching for getting in your applications. You only have 30 days after a disaster is declared to put in your application for FEMA assistance. Again, you can do it at one of these disaster recovery centers, seven of them them in our area online on FEMA's website and also by calling that number all that linked on CW39.com.